Anderson. This is Porsche Day up here. This is a new event for me. Um, I'm not a Porsche or Porsche. I'll probably say it both back and forth during the day. Expert by any means. So as you're watching this video, and when I inevitably make a bunch of mistakes, please don't kill me for it. I'm just kind of trying to go up and enjoy the hobby with these folks. This is a great turnout. Pretty, pretty similar to what we had the American Car and Truck Day last week up here. This is a perfect event for a show. Uh, it's like 70 degrees. It's a little overcast. No humidity. This is like the best weather we've had all year for a show. So I'm super excited to be up here. I have a couple of friends out in the community. I thought maybe we'll see them up here today. I don't know if we will. Um, but just again, a great turnout. Looks like a lot of fun cars. For me, there's a few cars I'm looking for. I want to see a 914. I want to see a 928. I'm looking for the 944 turbos. Uh, I'm looking for any of the Halo cars. So like the Carrera GT, the 959, the 918. I don't know if we'll see one of those up there. I don't know if there are any local that will bring them out to the show. But I do also really like the air-cooled like 911s, especially the turbo. So hopefully we'll see some of those and we'll go through and share a bunch of what we really like today up here. And hopefully you guys have a great time with the video and it's a little something different. But fun. I figured I'd pop into the parking lot to see everyone that was coming to the show. And we've got a C8 Corvette, it was like a C7 Corvette, an M4, we got a Ferrari here. So just the stuff coming to the show is cool. We've also got a nice 911 convertible over here. So let's take a look at some of these cars. And this is this is kind of what I was hoping to see up here. I do like the air-cooled 911s, foot wheels. This one's really sharp too. And again, I don't know the years at all for these cars. So I would guess this is like a 90, if I'm guessing. And that's strictly a guess for me. 89, so I was close. This would have been that first generation. I'm super excited because I have a 914 right over here that I want to show to you. So that's very cool. Um, so I'm happy to share that with you. But I love the hips on this car. This was really kind of when they brought the wide body into these. These look great. And this is a great color. This is like the ultimate 80s car. When you look inside, what you'll see is, again, we showed it before, but very utilitarian. All these Porsches have the same, same steering wheel, same gauges, four or five speed manual transmission. This one just looks so period correct. Foot wheels, that body match, the color of the car. Just a great looking 89, 911 right here. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering like why I'm excited for this 914. I love this car. And this is what, when I fell in love with this car, and I'll tell you a crazy story, and you may have heard it before. So back in the day when I was a kid, the Brady Bunch was huge. And Ann Davis, who played Alice, the maid on the Brady Bunch, used to bomb around Hollywood in a 914. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And this was such a cool little fun sports car. Again, the black foot wheels, the Porsche script on the side, the kind of the, the plaid interior, just a really cool, neat little sports car. These are still relatively reasonable. And you might be like, we have all these cool like GTs around you with these 911. This is so cool and different and unique. I wanted to see one of these and I was happy. This is a great color combination of this version of this car and this is a 75. The 11s were pretty popular, but the 944s and the 924s were incredibly popular. This is the 944. This would have been uh, an inline four, like 200 horsepower. They did make a turbo version. This is not the turbo, but the right color in the red with the iconic spoiler in the back for this car, which was kind of neat. These phone dial style wheels, which I love on the car. So when you see some of these classic Porsche, this is what I really like to see. Again, we're gonna walk through and shoot some of these newer ones, but this is kind of cool to me. I told you, so I wanted to see a 928. Haven't seen it yet, uh, but I did find the 914. That was awesome. So this is pretty neat too. So we have an 04 box there with the Martini racing livery on it. Um, you know, the box when it came out was like a game changer for Porsche. Um, getting into some of these more affordable cars. This would have been one of the first gen with the center exhaust. The downside of this car is you really couldn't work it on yourself. Uh, you know, when it was a little underpowered for the time, but it is a good looking car. And this one looks great in this color with the silver, with the Martini racing livery. Um, this is an automatic, so it's a little less desirable, the automatic, but this is a really clean version. And again, a car that was a game changer, along with the SUVs a little later on, that made Porsche a lot more accessible. This is pretty neat too, like a 99, uh, 911, which was set up with this police color set up, which from an old Porsche advertisement saying that in Germany, these are police cars, you're not getting away. So that's pretty neat in that color combo. So I do dig that. And then we've got another, so we've got a nine, 944, so just like we saw earlier with the 89, this one's set up for a racing setup uh, with the cage, the cool wheels. This is pretty neat too. Uh, you know, this one's a complete race car. We have no lights in the front, so this was set up with a fuel cell. This is pretty awesome to see, so I wanted to take a look at this one. That's a neat car. And again, something different, you know, something unique. Again, no knock against the Caymans and the 911s, but this is so cool to see something a little different. So digging that car. Shot at Bass a couple of times. This is such a neat car too. So the Targa, uh, 911 air cooled with the whale tail wing with the foot wheels in the in the black and red the iconic color combination 
Um, so this is so neat too. And again, I, I do want to shoot this because you can see the evolution of the size of the cars too. So we have a little bit of an older 911 here. Um, you can see as we get into the newer 911s, this one we've talked a lot at the show, is just how big these cars have gotten and the size difference on these. So what you can see is body length is not a huge difference. The newer ones are a little bigger. When you start to look how wide the new cars are, it's crazy how much bigger these cars are. Uh, when you get from what they were just a few years ago. So a lot of cool stuff here, but yeah, I wanted to shoot that size. Different. These are kind of a similar color combination as well. I'm gonna shoot these couple here. I love the, those wheels are awesome on that car with the Carmix, Carmic, carbon ceramic brakes. And then you have the old Sportster, the old iconic from which kind of started the whole thing for Porsche, right? So such a cool car, it's, yeah, it's, that's neat. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go through and look at some more of these older 911s here. This looks great in the white with the BBS wheels. So this is an 84. Again, the wheel, whale tail, a little bit of fin on the, uh, yeah, fin, a little bit of the wider fender. Love the color on the seats. Uh, different aftermarket stand with the Momo, but this is so neat. Sunroof car. This is pretty cool. And again, like I said, these are the ones I'm digging up here. Uh, just because it's so such a cool iconic body style these were like I said I was talking about it before when I fell in love with these a movie in the 80s called No Man's Land with Charlie Sheeny Charlie Sheen and DB Sweeney and they were still in 911s and I fell in love with it so check out this really good looking 911 SC in a Targa big wide wheels on this has a poor center cap I don't know if that's an a factory option for a wheel it looks like it might be aftermarket but really cool inside this is a 79, that is awesome. And again, I love the style on these. Such a cool car, these old school 911s. I want to go over and shoot this 911 and the Martini Racer. Now this is like the first version of those like foot style wheels. So a little bit older of a 911 in that Martini Racing livery. Love the car, I see a 72 sticker, so I'm guessing it's a 72. Yeah love the color on this this thing is beautiful the wheels are awesome on it love the wing this thing is beautiful love the interior like this is such a cool car beautiful in this color combination i love the molded in wing absolutely gorgeous car all right everyone be real vulnerable right now i know nothing about these old cars other than the fact that they are beautiful so i'm going to share them with you give you a little info if i can find it on it so this is a 1964 the 356 so you know I'm uh, always like the classic car stuff, so I'll shoot some of these, but again, I don't know much. I just know that the colors are beautiful on them, the style is really nice, and they're great looking cars. So I'll shoot a few here as we go through. And you can see as we get into it, we get to the earlier gen 911s as we go into here, or 912, right? Um, which is very cool looking. This is kind of a neat car right here, because it's kind of an evolution between all with the older style wheels. Uh, but the evolution into the 911 or 912. This one's all the original patina. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's a neat car, 1968. That's awesome. Great color combination with the green and silver. That's a cool car right here. Another 944 in the red with the wing. Got another 914. What I do dig too is there's also a 928, which I said I wanted to share with you guys. This was my favorite. This had the more aggressive of that phone dial style wheels. This was that iconic, like risky business style, which was really cool. The headlights were exposed, but they popped up. Had the V8. This was like Porsches. Grand Tour, and this car was originally designed to replace the 911 and it was a lot of pushback so people just kind of stayed with um, you know they kept the 911 this is cool and I'm glad to see one up here actually one of my favorites these should be super reasonable I think like this one's gonna be leaving in a second you still get these for like five or ten grand now they're starting to really come up in price especially if you get a newer variation like S or GT so very cool this is an earlier 711 right here because I love my favorite color the foot wheels look awesome so this is a 77 in the orange with the black wheels with a sunroof great color uh, again nice interior looks like an aftermarket steering wheel but the gauges look pretty correct the whale tail wing so the Carrera this is an awesome color combination in 77 with the black push wheels one of my favorites 
If I were to get like a 911, this is what I would look for. Probably something similar to this in this style with uh, um, air cooled with a whale tail, a foot wheels. This is probably it's a 3.2 <laughs> liter, um, non turbos. This is 240 horsepower ish. Uh, plenty fast enough for the time, but uh, doesn't weigh a ton. Not a ton of, you know, not a ton of technology in the car. Uh, just a really straightforward rear engine drive 911. That'd be a hell of a lot of fun to drive. And just an awesome color combination. Then I'm going to go over in here and I want to shoot this because we have a newer 911 GT3 RS. What's well, at the car with ceramic brakes on it in the orange with the big wing. So the kind of the evolution of these cars and you get into like this is a ridiculous car and we've shot some of the gt3 rs's at some of the bass shows i mean these cars are just next level performance absolutely ridiculous and you see everything about it but again still that great color the black wheels like we saw with the foot wheels the big wing the ride wide rear tires the really nice brakes so we can see the evolution of where we get to in these 911s and that great orange color here. All right, so we've got an 86944, but this is the turbo. Same thing, foot wheels, the big wing in the back. Um, this one looks like it's pretty original from like a paint standpoint. But this will be your turbo, so you get a lot more power in these. This was kind of a, a, it was a really nice performance car. Again, not quite the GT that the 928 would be. Uh, not quite the performer that like a 911 turbo would be, but a nice balance in the middle. So good comfort, you could fit you know, stuff inside the car. It was usable, but it was also quick enough that you could track it. These were well known back then, you know, motor trend and car and drive were putting everything like up against these cars, the 911s, the 300Zs or the 280Zs at the time. So this was kind of like Germany's answer to uh, all challengers to the world. And you'd see everything go up against it, those Starians, three, you know, the 300 or uh, 280 you know, Zs the uh, iroc camaros the z28 camaros were being put up against this thing was like kind of the standard bearer for the world in that more gt mid-level performance car and it was really cool another beautiful 911e in this green with the early foot wheels with the black graphics stunning car this is a beautiful example with the original steering wheel all the gauges you can see the gauges didn't change a lot from like the mid 70s to the mid 80s on these 911s and this one looks great in this color with these wheels and again I'm, the high impact colors on the porsches really make a huge difference this one just looks awesome really nice car now i figured you had this a great color in the blue but the 911 uh, i'm sorry the 718 cayman gts has become a real real performance car in the world um, you know, there's a lot of folks in here that would tell you it's even a better performance car than the 911. It's mid-engine versus rear-end uh, engine, so the weight balance is a little better on these. Really good handling. Some of these have the full liter now. Tons of horsepower. They're going for like $100,000, but they've become a really nice, balanced, high-performance car that's a real rival to the 911s and a lot less money in a lot of instances. And even some instances, again, better performance, mid-engine. Um, so just that really neutral handling with that really you know 50 50 weight balance that you find in these is awesome and these have become really popular these were kind of that again the boxer was the evolution and then you went into the cayman with a closed roof and they were more of an entry level value now they're legitimately in a gts model like this you're 100 100 plus thousand dollars so uh it's almost the same price as a 911 it's just kind of you know deciding what version if you want you can get a real high performance version now a gt2 or 3 um or an rs will be will outperform the gts on the cayman but you know if you're going up against this it's a first you know standard 911 it's a real conversation of what's a better option for you from performance value and it, a lot of folks are opting for these right here now guys this is a really nice 944 turbo with the phone dial wheels this one's gorgeous beautiful paint everything's set up really nice in here which is kind of interesting it looks like he's actually set up an air intake to go in where the headlight is which is kind of a neat setup i've never seen it before so that's very cool has a turbo um, graphic on the side here again the larger phone dial wheels really nice in the red this one's super clean um so i wanted to shoot this one only because i saw it afterwards and it's probably the nicest 944 i've seen up here really sharp car uh looks amazing so kudos over your cars it's really really nice all right we can't go to a porsche show and not talk about the ultimate high performance cars this is a 911 gt3 rs center uh center lock wheels it looks like carbon ceramic brakes giant wing tons of air you're good no worries i shoot all, i shoot around people all the time you're good i'm used to it at the shows you're all good thank you though i appreciate it um yeah look around you're, you're fine uh, but no just awesome you take a look at the arrow on the car you can see the arrow behind here so we've got the cutout down to create more downforce in the front and back active arrow on the front fender so again if you're up here carbon fiber um, roof 
So this was just designed to be like the ultimate track version of the car. I love the wheels. The red and white and black combo is awesome. So this is an absolutely stunning car. And when you're looking at for these, again, this is, if you're up at a, at a Porsche event, you gotta look at these cars. These are the ultimate and the high performance that are just incredible. Now here, I, was, I will tell you, like a Turbo S from a drag perspective would be probably a little bit quicker. Just like we talked about the Vipers last week at the show, when you get into these um, ACR versions or the GT3 RS version, more track focused, you typically lose a little bit of zero to 60 and a little bit on the top end uh, because the cars have so much more downforce and so much aero that it's more designed for around the corners and to be a little bit more, um, you know, a better handling car, but you lose a little bit of the straight line performance and a little bit of the top end. Now, we're talking about like on a prep drag strip. On a regular road, this again, next to a 911 Turbo uh, S is gonna be right there next to it. It's gonna be a great performer. So this is an awesome car and I love the color and the red wheels look great. So I wanted to share a couple of these real true high performance 911s up here. An air cooled 911 SC, gray foot wheels with the chrome lip, factory interior, factory wheel, uh, really nice interior. Love the seats in this car. Probably my favorite seats I've seen up here with the blue and the green plaid. Uh, the on the black with a sunroof, great color in the gray. This is an awesome car. Maybe my favorite car up here today. I know that sounds crazy, but this is just such a good looking car. Um, and everything's right about it for me. Again, the Futch wheels with a little bit of the chrome lip. Love the interior. Wish I had a little whale tail wing on it, but otherwise I think it's really cool. Now you see you've had these different bumperettes that are put in. So as you went through, you'll see like if we look around and let's see if we have it over here. So you have these kind of American force bumpers that would take a little bit away from that on the style on the back, which made them protrude a little bit. But again, still really, really great looking car and a great color. Now, if I were to buy a newer car for myself, this is it here. This is amazing. In the white, turbo, great looking wheels, convertible, that really nice tan interior. This car is gorgeous. This would be my choice if I were buying it. It looks like it's also a manual, which is awesome. So this is, I love this car. Love the style on it. It's got the big wheels, got the big brakes. But again, the top down, a little bit of a wing, the turbo, so super high performance. This is a gorgeous car, one of my favorites on one of the more modern 911s. And definitely something if I were getting one, this would be something I would look to. It's really nice. This is a really neat color combination on this GT4 RS. So you've got like a, almost a hot pink with like a blue wheels. Again, the, the center takeoff wheels, the larger brakes, carbon ceramic hood the big wing we talked about the active arrow we saw in the gt3 now what you'll see on here is the arrows is that it is active arrow but it's not as aggressive as on the, the gt3 rs so it's still a track focused car but it's not as track focused as like a gt3 rs but you can see the kind of the porsche's version of the factory canard the active arrow that goes in is putting down force onto that front wheel around the corner which is awesome this is a great looking car manual again the big carbon ceramic wing with the gt4 rs logo on it this is a really neat color combination what not one i've seen before so i figured i'd share this one with you it just looks great uh and again if you're gonna do like like an outrageous car like this you might as well do it like in an outrageous color and i love that they did and had the the, the courage and the kind of that hot pink purple color with the blue wheels just looks great the you know the, the uh the yellow brake calibers the carbon carbon fiber scoop here for you know for air carbon fiber wing carbon fiber hood this is just a neat car and i like it quite a bit so i was sharing with you that turbo that we looked at i also really like this 718 spider uh, a newer version in the white again with the black seats with the yellow stitching uh, and it's always interesting right you get the yellow stitching but you have the red brake calipers so you kind of kind of customize these porsches however you want and this was cool but if, again if i were looking for a more modern one this would be something i'd be very interested in i think the just the wheels look great on the car. I love the interior. It is a manual as well. Um, this is just a really great looking Spider. And um, again, if you're looking for something new in the, in the hobby, I think these are the right ones to go for. For me, all of them are plenty fast enough. So if you want to enjoy it, like again, it's not about zero to 60 to me in like 2.3. This will do it in like the mid threes or, you know, this, but you can do it with the top down, enjoy the hell out of it. Not really comfortable car and it looks great. And that, again, that mid-level, because the 50-50 weight distribution with the mid-engine versus the rear engine, even better balanced handling on these so it's cars. It's been a lot of fun up here. I was able to shoot quite a few cars. A lot of the older cars, some of the classics, I don't know as much about, like the 356s. I know a little more on the earlier 911s, so I shared a little bit with that. Some of the 944s, some of the 928s. Uh, you know, again, the air-cooled 911s. Try to get some of the newer ones. There's a couple of really cool cars up here. I shared that this one I went a little more detail with that Martini is really neat. 
So is this early white 911. There's a lot of great looking uh, early 911 air-cooled cars up here today, along with a huge group of 911, just 911s in general, right? So what was interesting is I didn't see any, um, I didn't see any of the sedans, right? So I didn't see anything up there, which I thought I may, you know, the Panamera or, you know, any of those cars up here. There's a couple of the SUVs, um, but not a great turnout for like, I didn't see any 924s. Um, I didn't see any of the Halo cars that we talked about, but like I said, we saw some awesome early level turbos. We saw some great GT, you know, GT3 and 4 RSs, um, some SC 911. So some really cool stuff up here. Guys, if you haven't done it so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm doing new videos all the time. We're gonna be at the Mustang Club next weekend in Rhode Island. Hopefully, got a little bit of an oil leak in the Mustang. All right. So we're trying to get somebody to take a look at it this week so we can get down to Rhode Island. So hopefully that's gonna happen. Yeah, regardless, I'm gonna be at that show up and judge and we'll get a video there, but hopefully we get the Mustang there. But this is a great turnout, great day. So again, keep an eye on Lars Anderson's calendar. They have a lot of cool stuff coming up all the time. We've still got another. Guys, we've got more, maybe eight or 10 more weeks left of the show season before people start to put their stuff away. So go out and enjoy, get into the hobby, and hopefully I'll see you at a show real soon. Thanks everybody.